hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to asher tales tv my name is Anne, and i'm happy to have you here with me today today i'm going to tell you guys a true 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 story it's a life story of a lady called kathy buckley She's a comedian and um, she's a very nice and interesting person that I've gotten to know through one of the viral videos I came across on Facebook and I really want to share this story. Some of you might have heard it before or seen the video, but it's really inspiring and um, she pointed out something that I really loved, which is um, attitude. So this video is going to be like a follow up from my last video, which was about attitude. So. If you haven't watched that video, the link is in the description box below. So go watch it. And uh, we're going to continue from there. So while I'm going to be telling this story, I will be revamping this hair that I made um, a couple of weeks ago. So I made this hair by myself. But um, I just want to add something different i want to make it look a little bit different because i'm not ready to take it down yet so it's going to be a story and um, a hair revamp but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit that subscribe button below and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you and welcome back first of all two things are going to happen at the end of this video one you're going to benefit so much from this um, story. It's a short story I want to tell. You're going to benefit so much from it because it's so inspiring. So that's one thing you take away from this video. And another thing you're going to see how this hair will turn out good or bad. But all the same, I'm keeping a positive attitude. This is my first time using a braiding cord. I've never tried this before. I got this from my local store, um, a local African store. And um, I've always loved it. I see it on people's braids, people's hair, and I really, really wanted to try it. So, so first of all, why do people have to develop attitude at all? You know, why? Is it really necessary? Well, yes, because we are human beings and we go through a lot of things in life. We go through so many emotions, could be stress, or some people go through some moments of fear, anxiety, of one thing or the other, but there's always a button that turns things around, and that button is attitude. Where we change our mindset and decide, you know what, this is the end of whatever I'm feeling, if it was a bad thing, this is the end of it, I am switching to a better mode i'm switching to something different i need this to turn out differently it's the attitude that you've picked up that makes you take that turn or to you know make that decision that you know what i'm going to let go of everything i'm turning to god for this i'm handing over everything so it's your attitude your mindset that makes you do that so we all need a little bit of that in our lives so the lady I'm going to be sharing the story about is called Kathy Buckley. She's a comedian and I, I just love her. I've watched so many, if not all videos that <laughs> that is out there of her. I've, I just love listening to her. She's funny and at the same time she's delivering an inspiring message. It's like a good combo. So Kathy Buckley, she had hearing disability right from her childhood. In middle school, she was diagnosed with hearing disability and um, you know, her parents and the professionals, they tried to help her. Um, they got her um, hearing aid and um, she learned sign language. So, you know, so she goes in there, she tries so many different things. She tries to fit in, tries to be accepted. A lot goes on and um, they tried to find other ways for her to be able to communicate with others and she did learn the sign language and um you know everyone thought you know what she's fixed she's good now you know we've found a solution for her okay 
now that she's fit she can go into the public school where the normal kids are <laughs> You know where everyone is talking fast and doing things fast and you know she's just coming out of this you know little hole she's trying to fit into the society and it's like she's pushed into the society like okay go on go be with the normal kids you're okay now figure it out at the end of her high school because she had difficulty understanding the teachers difficulty communicating with other students so she graduated with a one point gpa one point something gpa That was just the beginning of all her troubles. <laughs> so as a teenager now, as a young adult, you know, she's struggling so hard with the society and um, she's being molested at home. And she's been molested all through her childhood. She was molested and as a young adult, she was now, she was facing more challenges, you know, what a young adult goes through, especially with disability and other but a lot of things are going on and um, she tried to commit suicide five times but she failed those five times thank God you know when they say thank God for failure that's a failure that you thank God for thank God she didn't lose her life or she didn't succeed in taking her life away because we only get one chance to this life you know at the age of 20 she's sunbathing at the beach I think and um She's run over by a jeep from the lifeguard. She's laying on the floor and the jeep just goes over her. Like, like a sandwich. The paramedics declared her dead, but then something happened. Something supernatural. She sees life after death and she says, you know what, I'm not ready to be here where the light is so bright everything is white you know i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet god please send me back okay god sends her back <laughs> like okay and so she's alive again but then she has to go through so many years of recovery you know trying to mold her body back trying to walk again because she was crushed when she's finally able to walk again at the age of 27, she's diagnosed with cervical cancer. <sighs> talk about struggles, talk about issues, you know, talk about being stressed, you know, being fed up. Like, what is this? Why do I have to go through all this? You know, so many people are going through similar stuff one thing after the other one thing after the other one problem after the other it's very sad looking at someone go through this look at all the struggles all the problem all the pain they have to go through but at the end of it all is the testimony that really matters the testimony so she's diagnosed with cervical cancer and she's like okay the doctor says, okay, Kathy, we need to do a surgery and you know, she'll go through all the treatments and she's like, okay, I mean, what else can I do? And so she, she has the surgery, she goes for the surgery and um, she thinks, every, well, I think that's the last of it. That's the last problem. I think I've tackled everything and okay, I think I'm good now. Nope. Six months later, the doctor calls her and says, Kathy, I'm sorry, but we didn't get all the cancer in your body. You still need to come back for surgery. And if you don't have this surgery, you have just six months to one year to live. At that point, she's like, what? Why do I have to go through all this? weren't deaf couldn't communicate and then i was able to communicate a little but and then they threw me to the public school molested as a child 
and um, run over by the jib, crushed. You try to walk again for five years. All this while, you've not, you've not really accomplished so much in life. All your dreams, you've not really. It's like you've not had a chance to live. You know, so she's, she's thinking about all this, everything that she's been through. She is so sad. Like, why do I have to go through all this? Why me? Why? Why? Why does the society have to? throw this at me god okay first i was dead and then you brought me back to life only for the doctor to tell me i have just six months to live like what do i do and that's where she clicked on the button she changed her attitude like you know what you have survived all these years <laughs> i'm going to survive six more months and beyond this is where it changes. This is the end of it. This is the end of all the labels, all the difficulties life is throwing at me. This is the end of it. She decided, you know what, I need to go in for that surgery and everything is going to be fine. She went for the surgery, she changed her diet and she changed her attitude. And she's still alive, she's still here today. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but the link to her story, one of it, is in the description box below. So you can click on that link. It's um, a video on Goldcast. So click on that link so you can also watch the video and see more videos of Kathy, um, Kathy Buckley too. I've also left her website on the description box below. So. Don't forget to check out that description box because there's a lot in there. Now this is the point where you look at people that have gone through a lot and you ask yourself, you know, how did they manage to go through all that? How? How did they do it? Well, you have the answer. Keeping a positive attitude. Whatever you might be going through right now, if you think like, oh, this is the last straw of it. I can't do it anymore. I can't take it anymore. You know what? You can, but you can make a different choice. You can begin to see things differently. You can choose to be strong and choose to cast your burden on God. You can choose to take further steps. You know, you can choose to put yourself out there, put on a smile, go out and, and try to get something done. It doesn't mean that you won't go through times where you feel like, you know what, I'm done. I'm going to give up, you know. Kathy, she tried to commit suicide like five times. She was at that place. She was at that point in life where she's like, you know what, I'm done. But God is faithful. God is just merciful. Even when we can't see it, even when we don't understand it, he's just faithful. He knows our purpose here on earth he knows what he created us for sometimes he might go through things to be an inspiration to others sometimes that situation that you're going through right now is what is going to help some other person when some other person is like oh i'm finished i don't know what to do yet you're going to be there to say be still i went through something like that and i'm still here and the person is going to be like wow you went through that oh i think i'm going to be okay okay so i think i've succeeded with the hair with the braiding cord it's not perfect but i just wanted to see this on my hair you know something shiny and i like it i've made just three and that should be okay so one here and two over here I didn't want a lot so less is better so I'm going to end with this it's something Kathy said in the video and I wrote it down she said the gift of choice is the gift that's given to you that nobody can take away from you you have unlimited choices but if you make the wrong choice you can try to correct it with another choice and make it right I don't know the choice you've made today you know if you've made the choice of ending everything ending your life you know, you're tired of the situation and um, or maybe ending the situation in one way or the other I don't know the choice you've made today but you can always make another choice make another choice of doing the right thing make another choice of pulling
holding on, of casting your burden on God, of telling him to take away the pain, of telling him to, you know, take care of this situation. You know, I'm done trying to do it on my own. You do it. And I believe that when we depend on him solely, when we hand over everything to him, and we listen to our spirit, to what he's saying to us, we listen to that still small voice, you're going to hear what he has to say to you. So today, please make the right choice. A choice to put a smile on your face moving forward. A choice to try it one more time. A choice to work on that idea. A choice to give it a try. You know, you never know how it might turn out. So make the right choice today. You know, we have only we have only one chance to this life. You know, so whatever you go through, whether it's good or whether it's bad, there's one day it will all come to an end. So if it's a bad thing going on, you know that one day, maybe today it's going to come to an end. And if you're enjoying your life, you feel everything is going on well, please make the best out of it because one day it will come to an end. So as you have heard this word today, this little inspiration today, please do not harden your heart. And God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.